Hey there! Welcome to my channel! Welcome to a mini series that I'm calling Theater 101. Y'all always ask me a lot of theater questions. Y'all are always asking me for theater advice. So you're welcome. I'm blessing you with this video. But before we start, I'd like to bring some things to your attention. One, I do not have a degree in this. I dropped out of school after my freshman year. Two, I have never touched a Broadway stage yet. Three, I have been doing theater for 11 years and I have been doing theater professionally for seven years. But at the end of the day, I am just a young woman with a dream. I am still very early in my career. I'm letting y'all know that I live in the heart of New York City. Y'all are gonna hear a lot of sirens and noises throughout this entire video, so bear with me just a little bit. If your career is better than mine, this video is not for you. These are for my theater kids or people that are early, early, early on in their career. This is theater 101. These are the basics, the bare minimum. If you're looking for some life-changing career advice, I don't know if this is the video for you. You feel me? This is gonna be a series of videos. This video is about your book your repertoire book and your audition book, the songs that you sing in your auditions. I'm gonna do a couple other videos. We're gonna do one on your resume headshots and reels. I'm gonna do one on how to find a monologue. I'm gonna answer some of y'all's direct questions too. Uh, any advice or any other topic that I could help y'all with, drop it in the comment section. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about the difference between your rep book and your audition book. Your repertoire book or your rep book are basically all the songs that you could possibly sing in an audition or in front of an audience. That's going to be a large catalog of songs depending on where you are in your theater journey, right? Your audition book are like five to nine songs from that rep book that you would physically take into an audition, okay? People use the two terms interchangeably, but for the sake of this video, we're going to consider them two completely different things. Okay. In order to have a really solid audition book, we need to make sure we have a really solid repertoire book. So I'm going to go through a list of all the types of songs that you need to have in your repertoire book at the bare minimum. As long as you have a song for every category that I'm about to list off, you're set. And then we can pull a few of those and put them in the audition book. I'm going to give y'all examples from my own repertoire book. There are two important things that you need to consider when picking out rep and picking out songs for yourself. One, your voice type to what type of characters you play best. Like for me, I know that I'm an alto. Oh, I can still sing high C's just like Sopranos can, but I know that I'm an alto. My voice sits really low. My comfortable range is in my chest voice in my lower range, because that's just where my voice naturally sits anyways. To be honest, I would say I have a really wide range of acting, not gonna lie. Like I wouldn't go in for something like Janice and Mean Girls or What's Her Face in uh, Beetlejuice, that sings Dead Mom. Like I would not go in for a role like that. I could play a role like that. That's just not my forte, you feel me? I also am very aware of like the different styles of music and specifically styles of musical theater music that I do well. Like I know that I sing Golden Age really well. I also can sing R&B really well. And you know, you could be completely different. You might play angsty teen really well. Some of y'all might have a beautiful classical register. That's just not my forte, so therefore I am not pulling music that fall into either of those categories, unless I have to, okay? So this is gonna be a pretty lengthy list. You're gonna have songs that fall into multiple categories. That is totally fine. You don't need to have a completely different song for every category. As long as you have a song that fits in the category, boom, you're good to go. You are good to go, okay? So let's start with Golden Age. I love Golden Age musicals. That's when I was supposed to thrive. If I was around during the height of Golden Age musicals and there wasn't racism, I would have seven Tonys. Seven! I'm just bullshit. Golden Age musicals are any musicals that happened before 1960, okay? My college kids that are going trying to go to university for musical theater, essential. Some people argue that Golden Age is like pre-1965 or like pre-1970. I like to say pre-1960 because that's usually the standard. It's always better to be safe than sorry. So you're going to need an up-tempo and a ballad for this. Up-tempo meaning upbeat or fast pace and ballad meaning like slow. Duh. My Golden Age up-tempo is going to be Always True to You in my fashion from Kiss Me Kate. And my ballad is going to be What Did I Have That I Don't Have from On A Clear Day. Now we need two contemporary musical songs. So that's anything 1960 and on. It could be something that's on Broadway right now. It could be something that was on Broadway in the last 10 years. Anything that happened after 1960 would be considered contemporary, okay? Like I said, you're gonna need two for this. You're gonna need an up-tempo and a ballad for this one. My up-tempo is Waiting for Life from Once on This Island. What is my ballad? 
What did I say my ballad was? My ballad is gonna be Time Heals Everything from Mac and Mabel. Time heals everything Tuesday, Thursday. That's one of my favorite musical theater songs of all time. Oh, love that song. Now we're gonna need our pop rock songs that you would hear on the radio. So this is like my baby you're a fire work or I am titanium. I'm gonna say that any song that would be like on a top 40s chart between like I say like 90s to current time like that type of range. I I know I sound best on like pop R&B so a lot of my songs are kind of like pop R&B. My go-to pop up tempo is Crazy by Narles Barkley and my ballad is Saving All My Love For You by Whitney Houston. If the audition is asking for something that's more pop rock rather than just pop, I'll probably go in with Holding Out For A Hero. I need a hero or I'm holding out for a hero till morning light. And then also bring Saving All My Love For You. That one silences a room, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that one does silence a room from time to time, okay? Now we have our pop rock two songs, okay? Now we need a song from a mega musical. This is gonna be a song from a musical that everybody knows, like Les Mis, Ragtime, Wicked, Hamilton. Since it's gonna be from a, a show that everybody knows, it's gonna be a song that everybody knows, you feel me? You only need one of these. This is also going to be a song that your theater teacher, instructor, professor will tell you not to bring into an audition because it's overdone and everyone's heard it. I have a slightly controversial opinion. Stick with me. I am a very firm believer that if you can sing it well, regardless if it's overdone, you can still sing it in an audition. But when I say sing it well, I mean exceptionally well. Like I'm talking like, if I am not defying gravity after you just sang defying gravity, you should not have sung defying gravity. If you know that you are not changing lives with your rendition of defying gravity, stay on the ground. Said with love, okay? My song for this category is On My Own from Les Mis. Now we're gonna need something that's folk or country-ish. So this is for our waitresses, Hades Town, Bright Star audition. So in my opinion for this category you can choose a song from a folk slash country musical or a regular folk slash country song. I um, mean you only need one of these. First of all I love country music. I love country music. Country music is one of my favorite genres to listen to. I also know what I do well and what I only do kind of good. For me I like to sing Asheville from Bright Star. It could be Jolene, 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 Jolene. Moving on. You need a Sondheim song. Okay I'm gonna be real. No one has ever given me a real reason to have a Sondheim song in my book other than them saying you need a Sondheim song in your book. So I guess you need a Sondheim song in your book, okay? Mine is Losing My Mind from Follies, which is my favorite musical theater song of all time. I have another controversial opinion. A big rule of thumb that I feel like a lot of theater teachers and professors have is like, don't sing a song for an audition from a role that you would not play. Losing My Mind from Follies, the woman that sings Losing My Mind in the context of the show is a older woman so theoretically I would not play that role right now. It's not just my opinion this is an opinion I've heard from other professionals as well like if you can sing it well and effectively communicate a story you can still sing it. It's not that serious no one's gonna put a gun to your head because you sang a song that usually an old lady sings. Did you eat it up? Did you eat it up? All right then that's all that matters. Moving on. You're gonna need something legit. Legit meaning classical or classical adjacent. So throw back to when we were looking at Golden Age songs. If your Golden Age song was Vanilla Ice Cream from She Loves Me or something really soprano-y like that or If I Loved You Turn, whatever, something like that, you don't need another song for this section, okay? For me, I don't usually sing legit, so I had to pull the song out of my booty crap for this category. However, if you are a legit soprano and you did not have any belting song, you need a belt song, so vice versa. If you did not have a legit song already, you need to add a legit song. If you didn't have a belting song, you need to add a belting song. My legit song is Will He Like Me from She Loves Me. My favorite song in that show. Love that show. Did that show my freshman year of college, actually, and I played Alona. Come with me, Alona. We ate that up. There are people that would argue that that does not count as legit, but I haven't gotten complaints yet, so. <laughs> Next, you're gonna need something funny or something character-y. An example, what is a good female character role? Only male presenting roles are coming to the top of my head like the dentist and Little Shop of Horrors. Like that's a character role. Can anybody hear me? Am I just blowing air while the whole world marches past? So I blow and blow, though I know it gets me nowhere. Another song
song that I really like that I sing as my comedic song sometimes is Right Hand Man. Even though I wouldn't really 100% consider that a comedic song, the way that I do it, I think it's pretty funny. But like my go-to character song is Lost in the Brass from Bandstand. It's not Bandstand, Lost in the Brass from uh, Band Geeks. And just like you need a comedic song, I think you need a really dramatic song too. But like I'm acting down in this song. You feel me? Like one of your golden age songs or contemporary musical songs might already fit in this category. My song for this is Someone Like You from Jacqueline Hyde. That is also another one of my favorite musical theater songs of all time. It's beautifully written. I think it's a beautiful story. And then I feel like you need something on Broadway right now, has been on Broadway in the last. I'm gonna go as far to say 10-ish years. Something that feels like it could have been written in the last five years. Put Legally Blonde in this category. In the same category as like Mean Girls and Heathers and something like that. So you need something that's like really, really modern. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even have a song for this uh, category, not gonna lie. Um, I could get a root canal in hell, but it wouldn't be as swell as the summer's gonna be. That would be it. I do that one from time to time. Not often, but I'm gonna throw that song in this category. <laughs> okay, now you need a song that you know that you can just wake up and sing. I'm talking about without warming up, I'm talking like you are sick with COVID, you have to audition today or your opportunity is out the door. What are you singing? Again, this could be a song we've already listed. For me, it is maybe this time from Cabaret. I know without a doubt, no matter if I haven't opened my mouth in a month, if I am on my deathbed, I know that I could sing maybe this time from Cabaret. And trust, you're gonna have days like that where like you can barely even get a word out, okay? And you're gonna need that song, okay? I literally just wrapped up the video, but I was just reviewing my notes. Another song that you do need to have in your rep is a jazz standard. It can be, um, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do up, 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 do up. Night shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Something basic like that. Love that song. Jazz is just another genre that I love. The jazz standard that's in my book is I've Got a Crush on You, the Ella Fitzgerald version. I've got a crush on you. Vacuum's going stupid right now. Sweetie pie, all the day and night time. Hear me sigh. That one. I have several jazz songs in my book. I have been stopped filming and now I'm just ranting. Um, We're headed across the river, washed us in the way in the tides. It's all so peaceful on the other side. Said hallelujah, come on, get happy. We're gonna chase all your cares away. Said hallelujah, come on, get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. That one does go stupid from time to time. I just put that one back in my book. I love that song. Anyways, carry on. <laughs> and the last song that I feel like that you need in your repertoire book is a Disney song. Ideally, a Disney movie that has been adapted into a stage musical like Frozen and The Little Mermaid or Tarzan, but no one's going to put a gun to your head if there is not a live stage adaptation of it as long as you do it well. Do you see the running theme here? You can get away with a lot of things if you do it really well, okay? For me, that song is Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. What's yours? I'm very curious to know what y'all songs, songs would be for this category. I said that the Disney one was the last song you need. Okay, the actual last song that you need is like the song that you sing down. I'm talking like, this is like your dream role. This is your favorite song to sing. Like you sing the hell out of it. You might not always have a reason to bring the song to an audition. This is your certified hood classic jam, okay? For me, it is one night only from Dreamgirls. I'm not always in an audition where that is the appropriate song to sing, but I know that when I do sing, I sing it down. And Dina and Dreamgirls is one of my dream roles. It's probably the dream role right now. I actually played my dream role last year, which is Disco Donna in Summer, the Donna Summer Musical. I understudied and I did get to go on and it was such a dream because that was absolutely my dream role. So right now it is Dina and Dreamgirls. And for you, it might be Defying Gravity. Now this is the category that, that you can definitely put whatever the hell you want. Even if you don't defy gravity, you can put that song in this category, okay? Now we have a complete repertoire book. Good job, guys, look at us, period, period, period. Now we're going to pull the actual songs that need to go in your audition book. This is my audition book. Ooh, she's pink and she has my pretty face right in the front. One. You're gonna need that golden age up tempo and ballad in this book. 
regardless. I don't care what the audition is, both of those need to be in your book. Second, your contemporary, up-tempo, and ballad. Both needs to be in the book. Three, your pop rock song. Whatever the one it is, it can be the ballad, it can be an up-tempo, it doesn't matter. Whatever is your top 40 dot 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 song is, that needs to be in the book. If you don't have a legit song in there, it needs to be in the book. If your legit song was one of the Golden Age songs, that's totally fine. You don't need to add one. But if you don't have any other belting songs, go ahead and pull that. You need your belt slash legit song. And go ahead and put your super song in there too. Whatever your, oh, I, this is the song. This I've never sounded better in my life. That song needs to be in here too. You also need whatever song you actually have to sing in the audition, which might be none of what we just said, okay? For instance, let's say I'm going in for Hairspray and I wanna be one of the Dynamos, okay? I would not sing any of the songs I just listed for that audition. I might could sing Saving All My Love For You, but ideally I would go in there on some 60s pop. I would probably go in there with, Does he love me? I wanna know. How can I tell if he loves me so? Notice how that song was not any of the songs that I just put in my book. So you do need your audition specific song. These other songs are for when they're like, what else you got? Then you have to look at your audition book and go through all the songs you just put in here. And then you have to ask yourself these questions. Does at least one of these songs show off my belt? Okay. Yeah. Does at least one of these songs show my legit voice? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do I know the full version of every song that's in this book? Some of y'all might say no. Some of y'all might just know your 16 bar, 32 bar cut. If that's the case, go ahead and take it out. <laughs> Hate to tell you. Hate to say it. You might got to take it out the book. This only happened to me one time, but I haven't asked one time if I would sing the full song of a song that was in my book. And who would have thought? You just want to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Do I have my song for my actual audition? Mm-hmm. Is there a song in this book? that if I was asked to sing it, that I could not sing it. If I know that I ain't got that high note in that one song, I'm not gonna bring it. If I know that I don't know the words to my 16 bar cut of that one other song I have, I'm not gonna bring it. The one thing that has happened to me before, I finished my song and then they were like, can I see your book? And so I literally got my book from my accompanist and gave it to the table and they literally went through and looked around and then they were like, can you sing this for me? And they just picked a random song. It had been a song that I had not sung in a while. I knew it and I did well, but it was a song that I had not sung in a while. But if there's a song in your book that you know that you could not bust out right now, <laughs> go ahead and take it out the binder, gang, all right? Let's also talk about your physical book. Like, let's talk about this binder here. What does your book actually need to physically look like? It doesn't matter what's on the front or the back. I just have my headshot on the front, resume in the back, but it really doesn't matter. It needs to be a three ring binder. It needs to be a binder. Don't hand them no folder. Don't hand them no loose sheet music. And you also need to have hole punched music in the binder or in sheet protectors. I prefer sheet protectors, but just having regular hole punched sheet music, perfectly fine. As long as it is neat, and in a binder. Now we're gonna talk about cuts. You will very seldom sing a full song in an audition. The only times that I've been asked to sing a full song in an audition was that one crazy time, and the only other time was I was going in for a callback and they wanted to hear the full song from the character that I was getting called back for, okay? Those are the only instances that you would sing a full song. More times than not, you will sing a cut. What is a cut? A cut is just a small part of the song, you feel me? If you are being asked for a 16 bar cut, it just needs to feel like 30 seconds. I like to say that this is like the bridge into the final chorus. For instance, holding out for a hero. My 16 bar cut for that sounds a little bit like this. How when the mountains meet the heavens above, how when the line is split the sea, I can swear there was some, but somewhere watching me. Uh, uh, I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the morning light. And he's gotta be sure, and he's gotta be soon, and he's gotta be larger than life, larger than life. The bridge into the final chorus, okay? Is this exactly 16 bars? No, 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 no. But it feels like 30 seconds of a song, and that's all that matters. If you're asking for a 32 bar cut, they're asking for a cut twice the length of that, right? A 32 bar cut feels like one minute-ish. Again, it doesn't have to be a strict 32 bars, it just needs to feel like a minute, okay? I like to say that this is a verse and a chorus, a full verse and a full chorus. Um, For example, for Saving All My Love For You, like my 32 bar cuts is like goes from a few stolen moments is all that we share. You got your family and they need you there. I try 
hard to resist being last on your list, but I'd rather be home feeling blue, cause I'm saving all my love for you. Then I go, you used to tell me we'd run away together. Love gives you the right to be free. You said be patient, just wait a little longer, but that's just an old fantasy. I've got to get ready, just a few minutes more. Gonna get that old feeling when you walk through that door. Cause I'm saving all my love, yes, I'm saving all my love, and yes, I'm saving all my love for you. Boom, that's about a minute. I got like a good verse in there, got a little bit of the bridge in there, and then I just kind of shortened the chorus a little bit. That's about a minute. And you gotta be careful with like up tempos versus ballads. Don't get stuck on the 32 bars versus like 16 bars. Think more like 30 seconds in one minute. I'm a firm believer that if it's a ballad, you can it can be like a minute 15, you know? And it's okay if, if it's 50, 45 seconds rather than a full minute. Let's see, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh my gosh! Woo, that felt like a marathon. I am sweating in this bitch right now. I hope that this was so, 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 so helpful. I so enjoyed doing this. I love talking anything, all things theater. So this was like just a joy to make. Please drop any other questions that y'all have in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer as many as possible. If y'all got any ideas for future videos, let your girl know. I only be having ideas that last me about two weeks, all right? And then I'm out of ideas and I feel like I need to quit this profession, you feel me? Feedback, questions, maybe you disagreed with an opinion I had, <laughs> drop that in the comment section too. Like I said, I hope that this was helpful. Continued blessings to you and your journey, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!